What's going on, guys? We're back once again. We're finally going to be discussing Digimon Adventure, the brand new episode. We're finally going to be discussing episode 29. Now, if you guys have not seen this, go be sure to check it out before you guys check out the uh, review. But regardless, if you care about spoilers, if you don't care, let me know what you guys think regardless in the comments. Now, this episode picks up right where we left off last week, where Kari is abducted by Nightmon, and we see where Tai, as well as Agumon, is chasing after her. Tai, unfortunately, falls down. Agumon's like, we can't uh, stop, we gotta keep going, how else are you gonna save Kari? So he gives Ty that, you know, you can do it speech, and as soon as that happens, we do see where uh, Ty basically informs the gang that Kari has been taken, and as soon as that happens, we do see where amounts of Digimon are trying to uh, engage all over the digital world, as well as Izzy informs everyone that there is other issues going on in the world of and their real world. And what's really interesting is he says that <clears throat> there's really it's like almost like a calm before the storm. So we don't know necessarily what's going to happen until it happens. And so everyone basically says to uh, Ty, "Okay, we're going to do what we can uh, until we meet up." And he says, "Okay." So what was really interesting uh, about this? is as soon as Ty gets further into the uh, jungle, we do see where he meets some Woodmon, and they basically inform him that they're just trying to live in peace, but unfortunately, they keep getting attacked by these all these other Digimon, and as soon as that happens, uh, massive amount of Digimon hordes start to invade them, and when this happens, they're trying to fight back, they start running, and of course, uh, Agumon turns into Greymon, and then later on, Metal Greymon, to attack these invaders, to protect these individuals, that are just trying to live in peace and what's really cool about this is we do see where a lot of the Digimon are incredibly uh, you know they they're not they're trying to fight but unfortunately they're not strong enough to fight back and so we do see where Tai and Agumon become heroes of um, these individuals and they're trying to protect them and even though Woodmon are trying to protect themselves they are unable to because unfortunately they just can't get the job done because again they're not as strong as Agumon. Now what we do see is they give everything they got they start fighting and then again they continue fighting and then right when uh, Greymon turns into Metal Greymon it almost looks like it's going to be the end for Metal Greymon as well as also Ty because again there's so many amounts of hordes of enemies they don't know what they're going to do there's so many and as soon as we see them about ready to almost take a loss we do see where uh, Ty's like I can't lose you know how else am I going to find Kari and as soon as that happens we see where Sora shows up with Bergemon and she tells him you know to back up and of course you know Bergemon transforms and we see where uh they're in there now to help and when they finally are able to defeat them to push them back we do see where it's like okay we're fighting back and the Woodmon and as well as the other Digimon are fighting alongside them to basically say this is our home and we're not going to be basically take this lying down so we're finally going to fight back and when we finally see them fight back they do win but unfortunately they look up and there's a whole mounts of hordes coming towards them and basically Ty just looks at Sora Sora looks at Ty and we see them going yeah the battle's not over yet and as soon as that happens, we do see where that is where the episode ends. And what was so crazy about this is we do see where the others, I guess, are doing their own thing. We see where Izzy's doing research. We see where Joe's just chilling out in the hot springs with all these other Digimon. And we see where Mimi's and Mimi and Palomon are just collecting, you know, jewels uh, to take for souvenirs. And we see where TK is just standing there where Padamon passed out. And we see where Matt is using uh, uh, Guru Mon just to move alongside the landscapes of the digital world so everybody's trying to regroup and get back to everyone that way they can go after Kari and find her but at the very last part of this episode again they're going to have another part to deal with again with hordes of enemies so we're going to have to see if anybody else is going to join the group again to be able to help Ty as well as also Sora because again with all these Digimon it's a little unclear of how many uh, characters are going to be able to repel them. So it was a cool episode regardless. Um, again, your normal episode of, you know, fights between before we get to the main fight. So we're just going to have to see what happens in the very next episode. But regardless, I did enjoy it. I hope you guys did too. Uh, if you did, let me know what you guys thought about the episode down in the comments down below. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it. Um, regardless, uh, if you did, that's great. If you didn't, that's okay too. Let me know your thoughts are about this in the comments down below. If you guys could leave a like on the video, I'd greatly appreciate it. As well as if you're new to the channel, consider about subscribing. We're talking about Digimon every week, every episode review, as well as also going into more detail at other points of the time with Digimon as well. So let me know what you guys' thoughts are about this, regardless in the comments 
comments down below. Hope you guys enjoy your day. As well as click notifications, that notification bell. Every time I upload that, we guys are notified every time I upload. And as normal, I'll see you guys on the very next video as well in the comment section down below. See you later.